You know, I was consulting for almost a decade before mm-hmm. I returned to full-time employment. And I used to preach to people like, it does not matter how many likes you have on and on any platform. Mm-hmm. But if you have 10 people who like your post, who maybe they're in your funnel and you're staying top of mind with them and they found value and that makes it, or, or, you know, that warms your lead so that when you pick up the phone, they're like, Oh, I saw your LinkedIn post. Um, or, and you know, and this has happened to me many times when I was consulting, like people saw my post, call me up. Do you do X? Yes, I do. And yeah. I would get business. I mean, it mm-hmm. does happen. Yeah. Uh, and so like that, this crap that we're talking about, it does, there's no way it does. Um, I I would argue it's more to puff egos, to get onto uh, panels and and, and things like that. And to just blow smoke up your own ass Mm -hmm. um, more than anything. I mean, and there, there are guys, there's this one guy, I don't want to say his name, but I, I, and he runs an agency and he's like the biggest bullshitter of all. I actually like disconnected, uh, unconnected him. Cause I was oh. just like enough of your crap. Mm-hmm. But, um, and so, I mean, maybe he's getting leads it, it, and it also, I, I would caution too. Maybe you're the kind of person who wants the, like the transactional client relationship right. yeah. and maybe you get those one-off transactions from that. And if that's the case, and if you're not lying or deliberately deceiving or, you know, I mean, your ethics are your ethics, but if you're not like misappropriating a story or, um, you know, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. then okay, fine. If that's what you want, but for the people I used to work with and for myself when I was consulting, I, I'm a relationship person and most B2B is going to be this way. So, I mean, create content that matters to people and it's going to work. And if you get yeah. the 10 likes and one of those turns into a customer or a client, well, I mean, isn't that worth it? Plus, you know, I've gotten plenty of, of clients over the years on LinkedIn, but I made a lot of great friends, like online mm-hmm. people who, mm-hmm. when I go to a city, I'm going to grab coffee with that person. Yeah. There was someone who I was connected to for like three or four years. And, um, and and I'm honored that he considered me in his inner circle. And he passed away very suddenly. And another friend sent a message. I cried. Like, this is someone I knew, even mm. though I never met him. Yeah. Um, like, and, and that to me is a value in this platform because I, I've got referrals that way. Um, I've gotten value reading their books or listening to their podcasts. And so, I mean, that's a mindset shift and you can't force that on anyone. Yeah. But for me, if you view the platform that way and you f- focus on building relationships and providing value, it mm-hmm. sounds very Pollyanna, but I'm very Pollyanna. Mm-hmm. It truly does. That's what impacts your business in the long haul. If you're looking for the short gains, okay, fine. If you're looking for the sexy smoke up your ass by get, saying I had 50,000 likes on this viral post, yeah. go for it. Mm-hmm. But that's not what's going to like push the needle long-term yeah. in my opinion. Right. Let's go!